Hello everybody, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are one of my amazing subscribers. Today, we will be reviewing the whole entire Glam Light and Rick and Morty collection and I'm so excited. <laughs> like, you don't usually see stuff like this being collaborated with a makeup brand and I'm like, yes, I'm all for it, 100%. So, if you guys enjoy anything makeup and beauty related, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you guys subscribe before you leave because I would love to have you join my little family here. And let's get into the goodies. There are quite a bit of products and let's just get into the swatches and all the packaging and just like, yes, 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 okay? <laughs> the lighting's a little better, but this is the packaging just like oh my god are you kidding me i fucking love it i love it <laughs> anyways this is the first time glam light has done a setting spray and like i mean it's got the whole family on there and i love it so i will absolutely give you details to everything let me play with the packaging first look at this oh my gosh and I know there's a huge glare going on but yes 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 I am here for it it looks like a beaker I love it it's got all these designs all over it love it love it okay so this right if you guys don't know about Rick and Morty they're from Adult Swim which I like yeah all about it I love animated cartoons kid friendly adult friendly love it all anyways so this right here let me see let me find the information which it must be on this all the way at the bottom this is good for I believe 18 months that's what it looks like the net weight is hundred and fifty milliliters from what I can see guys like oh my god it's so small but so that's gonna be that. and then we have the Rick and Morty highlighter trio so this is the packaging and there's even like the inside is decorated as well like a a plus on this packaging glam light and I know I was gonna do the Chucky review and glam light just rubbed me the wrong way with customer service anyways so obviously the next launch I was like yeah I have to so I forgave them very quickly <laughs> because of this launch so this here is net weight 10 grams slash 0.35 ounces and it looks like it's either, I believe it's good for 18 months, I believe. I, I, that's as far as I can see. Okay, so the outer carton is the same as the actual packaging itself. And I love it, guys. I just do. You're going to hear me say that 8 million times today. It does have a little mirror in it. And then, like, these look like such shifty highlighters. Like, Oh, so beautiful. So definitely swatching. Super buttery smooth. This one definitely is like pink with like a... I will definitely put up descriptions as I'm swatching. Because it definitely has like a white base, but it's pink and like maybe like a peachy. I'll put up descriptions as I go along with the swatches. <laughs> beautiful and then cosmos is the second one i will also be putting up the shade names as well oh love the texture of these feel phenomenal that one is like pink and orange so if you're not into like duochrome multi-chrome highlighters i don't think these are going to be for you but i have a lot of fun with them and then uncharted feels the exact same super buttery smooth it is definitely like purple with a blue shift. I love it. Love it. It almost looks like a green in it. A little bit of everything in that one. So stunning, beautiful, love. <laughs> also released two different lip kits. And I mean, again, the packaging. There's this one. What is this one called? I can't see. Uh, Rick, Holog <laughs> Rick Hologram Lip Kit. I mean, original. I got it. I love this episode. I really do. I love it. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. 
And these actually open up just like a box. Like there's a flap right here that opens up. And then this is the inside of it. Like look at the attention to detail. I am so impressed. Thing in this collection so far is good for 18 months. <laughs> so, okay. This is the one side, and I love the purple. Love it. And I know it's, like, glaring, because everything is, like, a metallic, holographic, and I love it. I'm here for it. So, this oh, is a lip liner. You go ahead and swatch it. Very creamy. Holy moly. This is definitely a darker shade. Glides on beautifully. It's not so creamy that it's gonna like rub right off which i can appreciate and then again the gloss now as far as i know these are definitely like metal yeah they're metallic look how beautiful Ooh, you definitely can see the metallic in that one it's not super super pigmented but it's it's definitely got a light base with a lot of glitz to it. You can see like there's not much of a base. Okay. And then the next one right here. I love it. Love it. This is Accelerated Time Lip Kit. And this one looks like this same thing good for 18 months let me see if I can kind of cover that up maybe that will help I love this packaging all the way around I love the colors they chose for everything the images that they chose here is the gloss let's put that over here so we can put okay so hmm this is definitely the first one is definitely more of a mauve and this one is definitely more of an orange like an orange hue. Yeah, definitely. So it does match the outer packaging quite a bit. It is really hard to pick up on camera though, because all you kind of see is the metallic to it. But then here is the lip liner. This one looks quite a bit lighter. Definitely a lot lighter, but still very creamy, but not to the point where you, this is going to have longevity. I can tell already just by the swatches. It is definitely creamy, but not to the point where it's going to wipe right off. You're going to have a longevity with this. And then obviously with the gloss over it. Mm, nah, I don't know which one to do. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the last thing, which is the 30 pan eyeshadow palette. And this looks to be the same size as the Michaela part one and two palette. And then this again is good for 18 months. I just... Like, this would be so amazing just to hang up. Like, I would love it. And with it being a 30-shade palette, like, you get a little bit of everything in here, and it's so stunning. So stunning, guys. Oh, you do have, as you see, like, a little sticker right there. Well, it's part of the palette, but look at these shades. Like, oh, look at those. You have a little bit of everything in here. And I mean, it definitely fits the Rick and Morty theme. So if you guys know, I am in love with Glamite shimmers. Like they do some amazing shimmers. Like they actually even, I don't even know if you've seen this, but they actually even have like Morty in there and Rick right here. Like how cool is that guys? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love every shade here. <laughs> So I think I'm going to hurry up and swatch row by row so you guys can see some swatches and go from there. Okay, this right here is the first row. And I am going to do smaller swatches so we can hopefully fit it all on to my arm. But everything feels super smooth, buttery, pigmented, like, oh, just beautiful. So again, that's the first row. First row, second row. <laughs> I'm sorry. The second row has one shimmer and the rest are mattes. The first row had, I think, one or two, one matte, so it's reversed. Okay, and now this is the third row. Love. <laughs> Definitely love this column. And this one is like, 
I don't know, it's hard to explain. It almost doesn't even have a base to it, but it's just super holographic. Beautiful. Now this is getting a little tricky. <laughs> okay, and that is the fourth row. So first, second, third, and fourth. How stunning. This right here is the last row. <laughs> I was just like in awe at this color story. It has everything you would need for just a fun look. Even like, it doesn't have very many neutrals in it. So if you're a neutral lover, this is definitely not for you. But like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So let's get into an eye look. I'm debating on whether or not I should do one or two eye looks because this palette is so big, but I think if you guys want to see more looks, just let me know down below and we'll do maybe like a five look one palette. But I think today we're going to stick with one look. And then if you guys want more looks, we'll do a three look one palette, five look one palette kind of thing. So just let me know down below. The highlighter palette. And hmm, honestly, I think I'm going to go with this middle one right here, Cosmos. It definitely has like... Again, I'll make sure to leave everything describing all the shades from what Glam Light describes it as. But to me, it's definitely like a peachier, pinkier leaning highlight. And from what I understand, Glam Light has like some amazing highlights. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, ho, ho. look how stunning. Get my hair on my face. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. And what I like about like the duo chromes and multi chromes is like you can wear them with so many different looks. That is stunning. Pop a little on the nose. Just a little bit right here. Yes, please. Oh, gorgeous love it love it <laughs> okay and then we'll do the lips after because i want to make sure it somewhat goes with the look so let's hop into the eyeshadow palette i did just want to get a close-up on the highlighter like oh it is so beautiful I'm sitting here staring at this and i don't <laughs> i'm like i want to try every color like obviously that can't happen right this second but hmm uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade right there and start working that in just the front half or maybe a front third. Not a lot of kick up. That's good. And I'm just going to start tapping it. If you guys could see, right? <laughs> Beautiful pigment to it. Blended out effortlessly. Like, oh, I love that color. It kind of reminds me of the one in the Scooby-Doo collection. Hmm. But I don't think it's as green. I think that one's more like a yellow. Okay, so then I think we're just going to kind of work our way this way to that shade. And we're going to pop that more towards the middle section. This is definitely more of a greener blue. Sorry. We're just going to mesh those two together you see you can definitely see the difference so that is what I like don't have shades that look identical to each other because there's no reason for it especially in a 30 shade palette 30 shade palette I think they did an amazing job with the color selection none are too similar to each other from what I can tell from the swatches I can greatly appreciate that do you see how effortless these are going on though like oh, gorgeous we're going to go ahead and go into this super deep hunter green. I think that's going to be great on the outermost part of my eye. So we're going to see. So pretty. These have such amazing pigment to them, but they're not hard to blend out. I really do enjoy Glam Light's formula. Match, shimmers, I really do. It just their customer service is not that great. It really is. <laughs> so if you can look past that, you're okay. But as long as you don't have issues, you won't need customer service. <laughs> so 
so like look how gorgeous i i'm loving it so i kind of wanted this look to be a little bit more rounded and i think i accomplished that <laughs> i think but so far these shades are just they're blending amazingly together the pigment i cannot complain about it's all the way around a plus plus so i can't i <laughs> wow words i think for the shimmers i kind of want to switch it up a little bit with the shimmers i think hmm we have such a green look but i don't want green shimmers <laughs> go ahead and start with this really rich green shade just to, to place closer to the outer v it almost looks like a like a blackened base but i know it's like a green because of the swatch but i'm gonna take it like more on like a it's a refer what is this 12 and I'm slowly, very slowly, just going to start really patting that in. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Oh. And I don't have any glitter glue or anything like that. We're just going to really take our time. So far, I have zero fallout. But I do want this to kind of go on the outer V as well. Okay, so this might be a mistake. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and then go into this blue shimmer and go ahead and start meeting that up with the outer shade more towards the middle. I definitely want to see a very nice, what am I trying to say? A very, <laughs> a very nice combination with the blue and the green. Absolutely gorgeous shimmer. I know this look is pretty dark even though we have very bright shades. So for the inner part, I am gonna go into this shade right here. It is like a green gold, but yet orange. <laughs> if that makes any darn sense, probably not. But I really don't make a lot of sense when I talk anyway, so that's okay. Yes, yes. That is so beautiful. Ooh, I like it a lot. <laughs> I really do like that you have several options for an inner corner. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here for the inner corner, and then we're gonna kind of work our way back. And again, these are not sprayed, so. Mm. Seen my last shot, my stash, you guys know that like the Ice Cream Dream palette for, from Glamlight, my daughter did just like <laughs> destroy. So I've been like repressing all of those shades because that is like one of my favorite palettes of all time. <laughs> and this might actually be very, very close. I'm actually gonna take, I think, this shade and run it across my brow bone, trying to get as many shades in as possible. <laughs> Ooh, that one's really pretty. Woohoo! Definitely has more of a butte, a blue hue to it, but like an icy one. Oh, it's fun. Oh, that's. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should we start on purples? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do. Hmm. Let's do like this super rich purple on this this part. The, what the outer part? <laughs> wow. We're just gonna try to run it as there hasn't been a lot of kick up at all in these pans either i did want to mention that like very very little because greens and purples just like oh, so good together and blues yes please yes please now obviously if you are not in a color this is not going to be your palette anyways but if you like color <laughs> this is one for you definitely Okay, <laughs> and I think we're gonna do one more color. Let's go ahead and go into this shade right here just to finish this gorgeous look off. I am gonna tap it off because I don't want it falling. And just running that as close to the lash line as possible. I love it. <laughs> do you guys know what I'm gonna say about the palette? I love it. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on and some eyeliner and I will be right back and we will finish up the lips and I will give you what I think of it.
<laughs> All right, so I went in with ColourPop Amethyst Hour for my waterline, and I just used my Essence Lash Princess for my mascara. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really, really like this look. And I think this definitely, like, opened up my eyes a little bit more. But, I mean, for as bright as the mattes are that I used, like, the shimmer is, like, kind of, like... Anyway, let's go into one of the lip kits. I think, honestly, this one, the Rick Hologram one, is going to be my best bet for this look because the other one is definitely more orange, and I don't think that would really go very well. So we're going to go with this one. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to line the lips. Ooh, that's a little bit deeper than I thought. All right, so the lip liner is on. I know I look crazy, but I really like how that glided on. I really like how easy it is to use. It's not, like I said, overly creamy to where it just like kind of rubs right off, but I was able to blend out the edges. Hmm. That is definitely a different kind of gloss. I kind of wish that it had one that wasn't so metallic and then one that was metallic. I think that would have really helped out <laughs> for the people who don't like metallic, but I can understand because of the collection. They are definitely staying true to the collection. We have, I'm like trying to find everything. We have one more thing and that is the setting mist. Like, I'm so excited about this because they've never done one. So, let's see how the sprayer is. Okay, it's kind of like a cannon. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put it... Ooh, it smells really good. It's like fresh, very fresh. We're going to make sure it's like, whoo, cut quite a bit of way. Whoo! It is really like a cannonball. Wow! Not fond of the mister. Oh my goodness. Okay. They definitely need to work on the mister. Holy crap. Because <laughs> it is very fragrance though. So if you are not into fragrance things, that is not for you. It has a very clean smell to it, but very fragranced. Wow. It's, it's, it's strong. <laughs> and whew, that's a cannon. But We'll see how that goes. I mean, it feels pretty hydrating. So overall, this collection, guys, ah! <laughs> I love it. I absolutely am in love with this palette. Like 30 shades, I think they did the collection so well. I think these shades are perfect for this collection. I think the highlighters having duochromes and multi-chromes is definitely the way to go with this collection because of the galaxy you know space missions they go on and you know everything in this show if you have not watched is like super bright colorful like you have all these weird monsters and you know <laughs> setting spray Ooh, you need to work on this okay beautiful container I love it it goes with the collection but that mister will like hurt somebody okay and it, it is very fragranced so so much and then the lip collections I really really like these lip liners like these are gonna be I wish they had different shades because this one is a lot more deeper than what I thought it was gonna be and like this is just not a normal color I would wear this one might be but the orange is not really something I would wear typically either but I am going to get my money out of them. Best believe I will. <laughs> I won't get my money out of these. But overall, I think the Highlighter Trio and the Alley Shadow Palette is the, the winners here. I wish they would have did some brushes. That would have been beautiful for this collection. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you guys picking up this collection? Are you guys passing on this collection? Are you like, what the hell? They're doing adult cartoons now with makeup. Because <laughs> I am all about it. Let me know down in the comments and I will, um, well, make sure you guys subscribe.
I would love to have you guys. And again, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. All right, guys. Bye.